my association is is very special with RCB. First time I was chosen to play, um, you know, by Mr. Malia in RCB, and um, yeah, from then on I've I've learned so much. You know, getting to play with the with the best players in the world was a great experience for me. For me, uh, I've learned a lot being a part of this setup, and um, I've always been welcomed here. Uh, you know, very very warmly, and that's why I love this franchise, and it's it's a very deep connection and. Um, even with the city as well, the, the way people um, are always so so nice to us, so genuinely fond of the players. You know, they come out, support us regardless of the results or where we are placed in the league. I think speaks volume of volumes of of the kind of sporting culture there is in the city and um, how fans are really really genuinely backing the team throughout. So I think that's a wonderful feeling that that uh, you know all the players that play for RCB they, they really appreciate that that fact. So it's been, it's been a wonderful journey, um, and I'm really, really grateful to RCB for always um, being, um, you know, very fair with me. Um, even with, you know, my batting position um, in a few early seasons, I addressed that, and then they understood that I, I want to bat up the order because I want to contribute more to the team. I felt like I wasn't, you know, doing justice to the position I was playing in. I, I told them, you can either leave me out because I don't think I'm able to do much uh, at the spot you're making me play and someone else might be able to do the job better. So they've understood everything, all the concerns and um, yeah, it's, it's been a wonderful journey. Um, see, uh, honestly, I would, I would not like to comment on, um, you know, uh, if we already feel that we can, we can win this IPL because it's too long a tournament to to sort of uh, think of all those things. It's not a matter of four or five games, it's a lot of games and then, you know, ups and downs and run rates and depending on other teams as well throughout the league where you're placed. So we would like to be in a position where we're not dependent on anyone else to make the playoffs first. I think that's the number one priority for any squad and ours will be the same. I think from then on, it, it what counts is which team has more composure and, and patience and calmness in expressing uh, or, you know, executing the plans that we have. Secondly, um, yes, we we will miss uh, Mitchell Stark. He's he was our impact bowler last year. But uh, what we've done really well in this auction is we've gotten Shane Watson. Um, who, if you see his record, he's been one of the most economical bowlers um, in T20 cricket. He's very very experienced because he can think like a batsman. That's why he has always has an upper hand with the ball in hand and. You know, he's, he's got all the variations as well. He can bowl in the death overs. We've got Harshal Patel, who's done a really good job last year for us. we got Kane Richardson this year. Adam Milne is clocking over 150, 152Ks in our. So we've got a really, really nice balance. We've got Stuart Binney as well now. Uh, you know, so where the conditions are a bit helpful, he's, he's you know, as effective as anyone else. So um, it's, it's a wonderful mix. But again, we have to be at our composed best, and everyone has to play their roles, um, you know, do the best of their potential for the team to do really well in this season. Um, so it's an opportunity for the guys in absence of, of Mitch to um, sort of step up and, and take that, you know, top bowler spot. It's up for the grabs for everyone this season and I'm sure they're excited for it. RCB, why I batted up the order last year was to give AB more opportunity at three. Um, he's, he's too good a player to be batting at four or five. That's that's what we always have felt. So that was the whole idea. Um, you know, most probably we'll we'll do the same thing with him again because we want him to play with freedom. You know, he takes so much uh, burden playing for South Africa. He's expected to score every game that he plays, all three formats. So we just want him to stay relaxed and and get as many balls to bat as possible, which I think for the opposition is never a good sign if if AB gets going. So the whole idea was to give him a lot of batting, and you saw what he did last year. You know, with the bat. So. Uh, the, the whole thing was for me to go up the order was so the team can benefit from AB's batting rather than you know, me wanting to open the innings. I'm, I was fine in batting anywhere, but then we figured out, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to open. It helps uh, AB come up the order, which is you know, a, a much better thing for the team.